and a big howdy do to you. So how the heck are you, my people? <laughs> so I have a beer that I didn't get to try last year. Mothers did it for the first time last year. It's her MILF Imperial Stout. Everybody loves a MILF. Come here, baby. Anyways, I digress. Here, let me pop this sucker, and I'm going to read a little bit off of the bottle here. Uh, I won't tell you why I wasn't able to secure it last year, because then I'll start crying. Uh, those of you that know, know why. But anyways, uh, oh, wow, look how that pours. Holy mother of... Wow, that gave me a stiffy just looking at that there. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Wowzer. So before I go into the description of what that smelled like, I'm going to read a tad from their bottle here. It's 11%, 50 IBUs, and once again, wow. <laughs> Holy crap, that aroma is wicked good. Anyways, um, you're in for a treat with this one. Well, you know, they're, <laughs> they're apparently they're very confident about it, but okay, I'll, I'll excuse their arrogance. Brewed with cocoa nibs and raisins, and then lovingly aged in rum, sherry, bourbon, brandy, and whiskey barrels. Holy crap, in a barrel. Wow. That's a lot of... Anyways, uh, the, <laughs> this big beer takes on flavors from the spirit and wood of each barrel. The end result is a complex and elegant companion that's right for carefree nights of privilege and excess. Well, without even trying it yet, I can already tell you this is what I would refer to as a fireplace beer. Oh, good God. Uh, right away, right away, wow, right away, right away you get big oak and then you get the raisin and then you start smelling everything. You start smelling the brandy, the rum, the sherry, the whiskey, the sherry. Did I say sherry? You, you I mean, wow. It is intense uh, cocoa right there. I just picked up cocoa. And probably by default of the malts being used, you're also getting a little coffee. Oh, man, this is one of those that you could just do this all night to. You know, it's like having that good glass of brandy. You're going, holy shit. Uh, wow. So let's take a drink. Now I'm two and a half minutes old. Yeah, zoo. That's amazing. Wow. Um. Mm. Probably what some would call full-bodied for sure, but it doesn't feel thick or syrup here overwhelming. Oh, wow, the way that oak finishes on your palate is absolutely gorgeous. But I have to admit that I'm a fan of anything tossed in any kind of alcoholic barrel. And a beer that uses, what, uh, rum, sherry, bourbon, brandy, and whiskey barrels is aces in my book, man. It's just aces, man. Holy shit. Mmm. Good God, it just finishes a little crisper and drier than you typically expect a beer like this. Beers like this are generally very sweet. Uh, the 50 IBUs are keeping that sweetness in check uh, and keeping it from becoming cloying. You really do taste the raisins and, you know, again, all the malts and the various things going on here. You also sort of taste fig. You also kind of taste molasses. Uh, the cocoa in here is absolutely gorgeous. And you taste, yeah, you taste those alcohols, man. You really do. You taste the sherry. The sherry is just gorgeous. Uh, uh, you do taste rum. You do taste bourbon. Uh, kind of that smoky vanilla. Uh, wow, you just taste everything that's in here. Ah, oh, snap. Oh, wow. Um, it's 11%. There may be some that are going to say it tastes a little hot. Or feels a little hot to them. Um, I'm going to disagree. Uh, even, I mean, I haven't heard it yet, but I, I think there's probably some that are going to say that. I'm going to right up front disagree. I mean, this is a beer that's going to be fine if I tuck it away for six months to a year, maybe even a couple years or so. But it is, it is fine and drinkable right now. If there is some warmth here, 
I think you need to keep in mind that it is a winter beer. These are cold weather ones. I mean, it's just like having a glass of brandy. You kind of want to feel that warmth in a beer like this, or you should, or and I do. So, hey, wow, holy crap in a basket. Mother's milk. I will be back. Son of a...